There are some major changes in Washington, D.C. This upcoming session, the GOP has flipped the House of Representatives, and that means for some Oklahoma lawmakers, it will be their first time serving in the majority, and that includes Oklahoma Representative Stephanie Bice. She spoke with KOCO Zach Rael about what she thinks these next two years will look like. Zach joining us live now with more of that conversation. Zach. Yeah, that's right, Evan. Representative Bice says that she's excited about being in the House majority for the first time in her career. She's sitting out some of her top priorities while also being realistic about what a split Congress can get done. I think it's important to set expectations. You know, we still have a Democrat president and Democrat held Senate. So, you know, there are going to be uh, some limitations to that. Despite the limitations of what a Republican controlled House can get done, Bice says that she would like to see energy and inflation addressed. We want to return to energy independence, and that means right, releasing the ties that have um, are binding the oil and gas industry right now. Now in her second term, Bice will have more of a say after being selected by her colleagues to the GOP leadership committee. What bills will be uh, proposed? It's really sort of behind the scenes, uh, but it gives me a seat at the table. Republicans are expected to select California's Kevin McCarthy as the next Speaker of the House. He has already marked his top priority, investigations into President Biden's ties to his son, Hunter. Bice says it's a topic that's been swept under the rug by Democratic leadership. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. Another big headline from this week, former President Donald Trump announcing that he is running again in 2024. Representative Bice declined to answer if she will support his candidacy. It is much too early to be talking about 2024. You know, we just won the, the majority within the last 24 hours. My focus right now for uh, the next at least year or more is going to be making sure that we're doing the things that the American people have asked. With Democrats still in control of the White House and the Senate, Bice says that she is hopeful to find bipartisan issues that both parties can work on. I think the American people are looking for um, folks to come together and try to find common ground on issues that we can agree on. And again, want to show the graphic of where the House of Representatives stands right now. We can see Republicans have clinched control with those 218 seats there. And the 118th Congress will be sworn in on January 3rd. Reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.